Okay, uh, let's look at uh, section 5.2. This section talks about proof by contradiction. All right, so uh, here's the logic behind it. All right, so what we want to do is to prove for all x in s, p of x implies q of x. All right, so in order to prove this, we're going to actually, for the sake of argument, we're going to assume the opposite. So we assume that the not for all x in s, p of x implies q of x. So negation of what we want to do, right? Then we are trying to establish that, that this actually implies, so it's going to be a true implication, true implication here, right? Implies contradiction C. Remember that the contradiction is always false. So the contradiction is always false, right? You can see that, that in order to have a true implication with conclusion always being false, is that the, you have to have a false hypotheses. So this has to be false, right? But remember that the, this is just a negation of what we want to show. If the negation is false, then original statement must be true, right? That's basically the logic behind the uh, proof by contradiction. So by establishing that, that this implication uh, to, uh, to a contradiction is true, which implies that the original uh, statement is true, All right? So uh, usually, uh, we a negation of uh, a universal, this universal statement is, um, can be written as, right? Um, there exists, right? We're just negating. So some x in s, right? Such that, uh, right? So remember that the negation of p implies q, all right? So in order for the implication to be false, uh, all we need to do is the only way would be uh, you have a true hypothesis and a false conclusion. So you have P of X at the same time negation of the conclusion. All right? So let's look at an example. All right? So we want to uh, prove this statement. For all integer n, if uh, 3 divides n squared, then 3 has to divide just n, right? So let's prove this statement uh, by contradiction. So proof by contradiction. So this is the notation I, I tend to use, uh, lazy math, mathematician's notation for contradiction, right? Two uh, arrows going against each other, all right? So what we do is we're going to assume this. So assume assume that the, there exists some integer. Um, I'm going to just call this uh, integer m. Right? I guess you can use n, but uh, I'm going to just uh, differentiate this uh, from n, uh, such that uh, 3 divides m squared but 3 does not divide m, right? So this is the uh, given for the um, proof by contradiction, right? So which means that the 2, right? Uh, since uh, 3 does not divide m, so there's got to be some integer, k, such that m can be written as uh, 3k and either have a, a remainder 1 or a uh, remainder 2. So m equals 3k plus 2, right? So that's come just uh, using the definition of divisibility. So it comes from 1, right? So there are two cases here. So here's a case one and a case two. So let's look at the each case. Uh, three, All right? So let's assume case one. So assume that uh, M is um, three K 
plus one, right? So this is simply a case one, right? So if that's the case, uh, we know that uh, m squared can be written as just uh, 3k plus 1, because that's m squared, which is going to be 9k squared uh, plus 6k plus 1, right? Then this can be written as uh, pull out 3 from the first two terms. 3k squared plus uh, 2k, then you have a remainder of 1, right? So this just comes from substituting 3, right? But uh, this indicates that uh, this is a multiple 3 plus 1, so you know that uh, 5, this implies that the 3 does not divide m squared because of the remainder of 1 here. Right, but this is a contradiction. Remember that the assumption was a three divides m squared. So this is a contradiction. It contradicts line number one. Right, so but the, this comes from uh, part uh, line number four. All right, so done with the first case. Then we just do the same thing. So line number six. Right, assume the other case. So assume. Right, m is actually 3k plus 2, right? So this is just the second case, right? Then uh, we know that the 7, uh, we can write the m squared as uh, quantity 3k plus 2 squared, right? which is uh, 9k squared uh, plus, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, 2 times 3k times 2, so it's a 12k plus uh, 2 squared, so it's going to be 4, right? So that can be written as, uh, pull out 3, you have a 3k, uh, oh, sorry, so it's uh, just a 3k squared, uh, plus uh, 4k, right, and plus 1, that will only give us 3, so we have a 1 extra, so here, right, that just uh, comes from 6, right, and uh, last one is you can see that, the, which means that the 3 does not divide m squared, again because of this uh, remainder one here. So again, this is the same contradiction. This contradicts line one, right? So this comes from seven, right? Maybe I would just say therefore three does not divide m squared. And here therefore three does not, m, does not divide m squared, all right? So we uh, either case we uh, led to a dis, uh, contradiction. First case led to a contradiction, and the second case led to a contradiction. So therefore, by proof by contradiction, the original statement is true. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.